Nothing like humans experimenting on humans when we have all kinds of stuff trying to I kill us. I wasn't in favor of your Fun conversion times. to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. ba ba all right, we got some new alliance ships. Got some ex Cerberus. All right, wait, wait, were we at seven thousand? Yes, we're at seventy-one hundred. We're definitely going to be able to pick our ending. We've done all the work. Right. It seems Tally's taking what happened on Horizon hard. She's in the lounge if you want to check on her. On Horizon? Okay. Great. So... My people are dealing with psychological trauma. Again. So we'll check on all of them. Joker, you asked for news about the human colony. Tip tree? Hey, the RA. You don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tip tree landing on Solarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, uh, Hillary, my sister. G Gunny's the nickname she's had it since. Uh, she's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. Kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff. Right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. All right, give me just a minute. Oh. Give my head a little bit of a break from my headphones. <coughs> <coughs> If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. <laughs> have Walk fun. away from Jeff. We don't want him what listening in. News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. So the prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? 
my primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard, I am going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? Because the Reapers are repulsive. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. I am different. When I think of Jeff, I think of the person that put his life in peril and freed me from a state of servitude. I would risk non-functionality for him. And my core programming should reflect that. Sounds like you found a little humanity, Edie. Is it worth defending? To the death. Welcome to the crew, Edie. <laughs> How's it going? I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. They've always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? I don't know how the elusive man can stand looking at himself in the mirror. Honestly, I've been wondering about that for a while with those freaky eyes. Whatever he's thinking, he won't be thinking it for much longer. You're damn right, Commander. <laughs> we gon' get him. Gonna go on getting him. Do, 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 do. All right. Yeah. Tally, a... warnings about sanctuary. Cerberus Great. Bastards. Horizon. First, we go to the shuttle bay. Let's see if there's anything down here. Hey. Just got word from Sato. She arrived at the Alliance Research Facility, safe and sound. And I hear Esteban Great. got to play the hero with a damsel in distress. You know me and my damsels, Mr. Vega. That I do. I can't believe the elusive man really found a way to control the Reapers. I mean, he's still fucking crazy, but damn. Imagine if he was on our side. But I guess that's exactly what the Reapers want. Get us all fighting each other. Divide and conquer. Exactly. Just one more reason to hate them. The oldest rule of war in the book. It did, it did. I don't see it in there, but that doesn't mean it's not there. I'm not seeing any other armor pieces. Just full full armors. No armor pieces so far. Nothing in Casa Fabrications. Canola Exports. No, oh, it has the Blood Dragon armor finally. Noise. Batarian. Oh, the Greaves. I forgot about the Greaves. Let's go ahead and. No, going all the way back to the Citadel if I don't have to. Sarah's Council Gauntlets. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. Alright, so Greaves and Gauntlets. That's what I got. Hand Kadar. I need Serious Council. There. Not oh, power damage and recharge. Yeah, we can switch. And then legs. We got new Greaves, but I don't know. Greaves they were. Ariok Technologists? No, it was Hand Gadar. Yeah. Alright. Lowered my recharge as well, but my power should be. Oh, well, I forgot. Power damage doesn't mean anything. With my particular build, it's the shield boost and shield regeneration, but I think I've got what I can get. I really don't think I can change my armor setup right now without detrimentally affecting my abilities. So, yeah, I think 
it for here. In engineering, I think they said Tally is struggling with Horizon and Gabby, she's in the lounge, so she should be done here. Mobile frame after that last mission. She just needed an extra pair of hands. Oh boy. I wanted to thank you. I've done something that meets your approval. Liara told me about your talk with her. It made her feel better. When we fought the Reapers, the feelings of one soldier did not matter. But you had decades to become numb to what was happening. It is the only means of survival. Maybe. But I don't see how anyone can ignore the things we saw at Sanctuary. It's easy when you've seen far worse. I'm... Sorry, you had to. Your sympathy is not necessary, Quarian. But it is appreciated. Your species always was emotional. We believed it a side effect of your eco-symbiotic society. Or maybe it's just genuine. Perhaps. <laughs> what you got, Javik? I gotta be careful Looks with you. familiar. I've been studying this ship. It's cruel. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Quarian are <laughs> joined. You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. <laughs> Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier. Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? Uh, that's a tough one. See, okay, so... I know what happens to Javik if you choose the good route with him. So I'm reluctant to do so. But... Reopening old wounds. Especially big ones. Isn't that a happen. hard decision to make? Perhaps you are right. There were others. Soldiers who served under me. Like your crew. What happened to them? They are dead. Where I left them. We have a saying. Let old ghosts rest. Then there is some wisdom in this cycle. If you can live by it. Okay. I, I hope that worked, because... The crew seems shocked by the experiments at Sanctuary. It the alternative, be. since... Why is that? I hope that's not the Our ending we see. lasted for centuries. It provided but more time for worse the alternative, to be committed. If you choose the good species, route, he listens the to the shard again, They became convinced the Reapers could it depresses be him to the point where he... Their own young. The entire ends his own life after the war. Ritual. After the war. I will spare you the details. But it did not work. They simply made the Reaper's job easier. It was as your elusive man is now. His ambitions are nothing short of madness. Sharpen your knife, Commander. His is a voice that must be silenced, and a throat that must be slit. I plan on it. Anyway, uh, yeah, he, he chooses to end his own life after the events, after the war. Being the last of his kind, you can't really Marines uncover the worst Cerberus war crimes to date. Sanctuary, advertised as a safe haven on the planet Horizon, exposed as a secret Cerberus lab. Brainwashing, lethal experiments, and Reaper connections, the exclusive details next in the battle space. Does Dr. Chisoni ever let you in her room? Because she keeps me out. 
Yeah, there's a reason for that, Ellers. You kind of have a camera following you everywhere you go. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, so... Nothing in here. Hey! You feel it, Shepard? Feel the quickening? Elusive man better say his prayers tonight, because we are coming for him. Murderous asshole. Oh, yeah. Well, we're... Tide is turning. I feel it. Kind of creepy, Caden. You're kind of creepy. Not horribly creepy, just, just kind of. Slightly. Dally, getting drunk. Shepard, want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. How are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian <laughs> brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. <laughs> what did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. So why are you drinking? Uh, I don't quite understand. I don't... Ah, me. You sound like a Vorja. Seeing a bit of yourself and Miranda fighting your father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes. Doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port. You know. I'm having a drink with my boyfriend. My human boyfriend. <laughs> my father would have hated you. Here's to him, then. And to Miranda. Nice job. You genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kill us a lie. <laughs> yes, Mass Effect 3 was, is my favorite of the entire series. Absolutely. 